Hi, I'm Ollie from Balanced Kid Yoga and for today's teen yoga session we're going to do something cosy called yin. You're going to need lots of pillows and blankets, whether they're yoga ones or just ones off your bed and the sofa, I don't mind. So pause the video, go and grab as many cushions and blankets as you can and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so for yin we hold long stretches, super cosy with all our props. It's great if you've been feeling stressed or anxious or a bit tired. So let's get to it. We're going to start with the breath to get the mind ready and prepare the body. So I'd like you to sit with your legs crossed, but then cross them the way that feels weird, not the normal way. Close down your eyes and place your hands on your belly. I'd like you to breathe in so that you feel your belly rise. And then a big sigh out of your mouth, belly falls. <sighs> Good. One more like that. Breathe into the belly. Big loud sigh. <sighs> okay, take your hands to your ribs, your side this time. As you breathe in, feel your ribs and lungs expand. And then a big sigh. <sighs> One more like that. Breathing into the side of the body. Okay, and then hands to the chest. Breathe and feel the chest rise. Big sigh. One more time, breathing into the chest. Okay, take the hands up or down on the thighs. Eyes stay closed. I'd like you to take three more breaths, but breathing into all three places. As you inhale, filling up the belly, the ribs and the chest. And then breathing out of the nose, nice and slowly. Breathe in, feel the body expand. Exhale, feel the body relax. One more, inhale completely. Exhale completely. Good brains are ready so let's get moving interlace your fingers send your hands out and up on the inhale look up and then open your hands exhale chin to chest look down interlace the fingers inhale push them out and up look up as you exhale open the hands circle them down and then chin to chest this time inhale hands come all the way up Exhale, lean to one side, not too far, just so that you can feel the side stretch. Big breath in. And then take the bottom hand away to the hip, see if you can lean a little bit further. Try not to drop the shoulder, keep the chest open. One more breath. Exhale. Let's do that again, inhale to come up. Other side, exhale, just a little lean so you feel the stretch. Inhale. Exhale, hand to hip, lean a little bit further. Keep the chest open. Good, inhale to come up and exhale. One more here, interlace the fingers forwards, push them away, tucked into chest and then really round the back. So you're making this C shape. Big breath in, big breath out. Now the other way, sit tall. Hands behind the back, squeeze the shoulders, arching the back the other way as you lift the chin, big breath in. <sighs> okay, release there. Let's move on to the yin. Our first yin pose is going to be a twisted fold. So it's quite nice to take the blanket underneath you on the mat. And then you're going to take your pillow, whether it's your yoga pillow or maybe three bed pillows, and you're going to sit it next to you on your right hip. Then you're going to sit with your legs in this kind of mermaid shape, like that. Good. Turning to frame your pillows with your hands, your bottom will come off the floor, and then fold down over the pillows. You can then turn your head to face the other way than your knees and relax there. You should feel a little bit of a twist in your hips 
and your back. You can settle in now for a couple of minutes. You stay there and I'll talk you through it. If it feels too far to stretch, maybe add some more pillows. But otherwise, we're going to focus in on the breath. Breathing into the belly and out. Breathing into the ribs and out. And breathing into the chest and out. I'd like you to take three more big breaths into all of those areas at the same time, full body breath. And then listen for the sound bowl so that you know when the pose has finished. listening for the end of the sound before you slowly sit yourself all the way back up and open your eyes. Good. If you want to, you could take a little bit of a wiggle or a stretch. Have a little nice as long as it's slow. And then I'll set you up for our butterfly pose. This time you're going to have the bolster or the pillow behind you. Take your feet together and your knees out wide. You can then take some extra little pillows or blocks underneath the knee. And then you're going to lie all the way down onto your back. Again, if that feels too far, then add some extra pillows or maybe some blocks to prop it up slightly for you. You can take your arms wide above your head or maybe just resting on your body. Get comfy and we'll stay for a couple of minutes. Closing down the eyes. Stay there and I'll talk you through the rest. Let's start with what you can feel. Hopefully a little bit of a stretch to the inside of the legs and the hips. And maybe even a little bit across the chest and the shoulders. Let's breathe into the belly and out, relax the shoulders, into the ribs, and as you breathe out, relax your forehead, breathing into your chest, and relax your jaw. Let's breathe into all three areas, inhaling deeply, Exhale, allow your body to be so heavy and relaxed on the pillows and the ground. Take a few more, enjoy the rest, and listen for the sound bowl for the end of the pose. Listen for the end of the sound before you move. And then slowly close your knees with your hands. Maybe you roll to one side before you gently sit all the way back up. Well done. Take any movements that feel nice. Maybe windscreen wipe at the legs if that feels good. As long as you're moving slowly, don't think about it too much. Let's take our folded twist on the other side now. So you're going to take the bolster to the other hip, sitting with the legs in this kind of mermaid shape. Twist to frame the pillow, keeping that hip close to the bolster or the pillow, and then folding down. Turn your head to face the other way than the knees and close your eyes. Completely relax and let go into the pillow. 
you need some extra pillows, feel free. Otherwise, stay there and I'll talk you through the next couple of minutes. <laughs> Tuning back into the breath. Breathe into the belly. As you exhale, relax your toes. Breathing into the ribs. As you exhale, relax your neck. Breathing into your chest. And as you exhale, relaxing your shoulders and your back. Continue now to breathe into all of those areas, imagining you're like a balloon, inflating on the inhale and softening on the exhale. If you start to get a bit frustrated or feel impatient, just know that's okay and very normal in these long, deep stretches. See if you can just notice that and then let it pass with every breath out. Slow breaths to focus the mind so that we can get some mental rest as well as physical rest. Listen out for the sound bowl for the end of the pose. Good job. Sitting yourself up slowly and taking in the movement to feel nice in the body, stretching out the legs, giving a little bit of a squeeze. Good job. Next up is our supported bridge pose. It's actually one of my favourites. It's so nice. So you're going to take the bolster or the pillows next to you to one side so that you can lie down on your back like this feet planted close enough that you can tickle your heels then you're going to squeeze and lift your bottom and drag your pillows or your yoga bolster underneath your lower back right at the bottom of your back where it becomes your bottom is a big flat bone called the sacrum I want you to take it there it should feel comfy and then relax from here, you can take arms overhead if you want to. They can land on your body somewhere if you want them to. You could take them wide. I don't mind, whatever's comfortable. Option one to stay here or stretch one leg out, point your toes. Maybe two legs out and point your toes. If it's hurting your back, maybe move the bolster up a little bit more and see how that feels. You should feel a nice stretch across the front of your hips, the tummy, and maybe your shoulders if the arms are above your head. Close the eyes and settle in just for another minute or so, breathing into the belly. Exhale. Breathing into the ribs. Exhale. And breathing into the chest. Exhale. Continuing with those full body breaths as you allow the body to rest. Physically, your body is allowing the muscles to relax and rest as they stretch and release any tension. Mentally, you're just focusing on one thing, which is the breath, allowing some mental rest. Eyes are closed, so there's a little bit of sensory rest as well. Lots of different types of rest. It's important that we get them all. Just a few more breaths here until you hear the sound bowl.
until the sound is finished. Bend your knees and plant your feet if the legs are out long. Squeeze and lift your bottom up and take the pillows away from underneath you and bring the back back down. Then you can roll to one side and then come up to meet me in sitting. Well done, I hope that felt nice. For our final pose, we're gonna have our legs in the air. You can just do that lying on your back for a couple of minutes with the legs up. That can get a bit tiring. So maybe you could use a wall, grab a chair, the sofa or your bed and pop your legs up on there. Let's go. I'm going to use the wall. So I'm gonna get super, super close, spin round and then send my legs up like this. You might have your legs bent if they're on a chair or the sofa or the bed. Just get comfy with your legs up. Same as before, arms can be up by your sides, above or out wide, you decide. And then close down the eyes. I'm gonna stay for a few minutes and I'll talk you through it. Start by noticing any sensations you can feel in the legs. When we're upside down like this, the heart doesn't have to work so hard to get the blood to the brain because gravity is on its side. So your heart rate starts to reduce and that helps us feel relaxed and calm. It's great to do this before bedtime. You could do this for 10 whole minutes with your legs up the headboard and you'd be super ready for sleep. Just tune back into the breath, breathing into the belly and out. Breathing into the ribs and out. And breathing into the chest and out. I'm going to stay for another minute. Full body breath, breathing into all three places. With every inhale, feel space and light in the body. With every exhale, let the body feel heavy as you sink into the ground, relaxing the muscles. If the mind starts to wander, don't worry. Just bring it back to the sensations you can feel and your breathing. Well done everybody. Now, you can stay here for longer and just rest, especially if you're doing this before bedtime. Or if you'd like to finish the class, just slowly bend your knees, roll to one side and come up to sit. Close your eyes and just notice how you're feeling then. Inhale to send your hands up. And exhale, thumbs to your forehead for kind thoughts your mouth for kind words and to your heart for a kind heart. Thanks for doing some cozy yin with me today. I hope you're feeling a bit better and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for joining me everyone. I've got lots more videos for you so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.